Hey guys, it is Brooke with The Junk Parlor. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a recent haul. Now it is small, but there are some very cool pieces. And let's just start with the random painting I have on my wall back here. So if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I hate and love this wall. I just read an email announcement from Sherwin-Williams that said this ombre gray, which is what this wall is, was the 2023 color of the year. That's right, Brooke picked the color of the year without even knowing it. However, I can't pick anything to put on the wall. I think because everything looks so good, this painting is a perfect example. So that canvas I did pick up at the thrift store and it was a thrift store that honestly, I've probably been by it a million times over the years, even when I didn't live here in the Des Moines area. And it was literally the first time I'd ever been in there. It was a huge store. I thought the prices were decent, but you know what? It was empty. Now, maybe that's because they just took out all their Christmas decor that hadn't sold and packed it away and hadn't re refilled or replenished yet, but the shelves were bare, like tons of sections were bare. So I was very surprised by that. Now, in the up close video, you might have seen that there is a little bit of creasing where the wood frame is. And there's maybe one little like spot where probably somebody pushed their finger a little bit too hard, left a little indent. But overall, it is an absolutely gorgeous canvas painting. Now, Brooke is not skilled in knowing what is acrylic and what is oil because I always thought acrylic was more like three-dimensional on the piece, but then I feel like I read that it was oil that's more 3D, so we're not even going to pretend to know what kind of paint was used in this, but I think that it's gorgeous. So that canvas fruit painting is $45, and it is a good, nice, large size. Another stop, they were having some artwork on clearance. So normally I just kind of look at the top two frames or prints or images in the stacks. This time I did a lot more digging because it was such a good sale. This is actually a paint by number, but I could not find only like reproduction prints of this. Maybe I found one of this one, but it wasn't even the same colors, which aren't paint by numbers. Don't they tell you what colors to paint them? This says mixed iris mo motifs, moffits, moffits. I think it says moffits. Painted by, and too bad I have my contacts in, Bertha E. Keen, I think. February 16, 17. I don't know. I'm assuming that's just the date, not the year. It is marked, the, the board is a product of Picture Craft, Decatur, Illinois down here at the bottom, but it is an old paint by number. The frame is pretty neutral, so that works too. And the paint by number is $50. Then we also have this one with tulip and a rose bush. And this one, the back says tulips and yellow rose bush. Again, it says Moffat but only one F, M-O-F-I-T-S. Looks like she put an S on the end. Very curious on this. Yeah, there's an S on this one too. I don't know, I'll have to Google that. Maybe uh, I will know what the heck it's talking about because when I read it the first time, I thought it was saying motifs. It's not. So anyway, this one, I could not find a single. I used Google image search. I just did tulips and rosebush. I did paint by number and tulips, flowers, blah, 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 blah. So either I'm a terrible Google searcher or this one is super unique. So this one is $50 as well. Same frame, same size. This one on the date just says February 18, 19. I'm guessing it only took her a day to do them or it took two days to do them. And then this, the glass needs cleaned a little bit, probably if we get really technical at it, um, try and get it so you're not seeing so much glare, really technical at it. I probably should take it all out, 
and clean the inside of the glass, but I'm not gonna do that. So this one says AJ Malone 98. It is a watercolor and you've got this girl with her little muff and uh, fur details. I mean, look at her face. Her face is good. This is on an old frame with even a wood back. But if you can tell, there are folds in the watercolor. So what that tells me is that this was folded up probably in somebody's art book or maybe they mailed it to somebody and then somebody else framed it. But I love neutral. I love the, the color, color scheme of this one. So our watercolor girl is 75. And of course, I picked the chair that is super squeaky. I do not need any more Bibles. However, I found this one. It didn't have red pages, and so I grabbed it. It's a soft cover, which I like. And then, remember, I had a couple white books, uh, Bibles, and I was wanting to do a white stack. And in that same booth, I happened to find a white one. So fingers crossed that they actually, you know, nest on top of each other. These are not going to be sold individually. The white ones are going to get grouped with the white ones and sold as a bundle. And then the black one is probably just going to go in a stack until I get that listed on the website. I did score a box of, it says, handmade drink stirs. I had actually gotten my husband uh, something very similar for Christmas but they are like red and white triangles, like arrowheads on the top. And these are Santas. So could use them, could use them for decor, could sell them. Um, I haven't really made a decision on the stir sticks. Another little random thing that I picked up is this wooden um, nesting sailor. And so, to me, the big guy here, he's the best looking. Inside of him, whoops, not very tight. Let's see if we can line up her hands a little bit. Is that the right way? I think so. Yeah, thumbs would be for, facing forward. Then we have a girl, looks like to me, and then a kid. So three little nesting sailors. This small one does not open. Let's get them put back together, kind of. I didn't have the sailor dad's hands on the right spot for a long, long time. But this is a cute little sailor nesting set. And it is $25. And the bottoms are just, well, I guess they're worn on everything. Or worn on the man, but not on the the rest of them that would have been inside. Another thing I picked up, this is marked a Wabash Cabinet Company, Wabash, Indiana. It's a uh, card catalog. Now, it's not in perfect shape because there's just some random gray paint. I mean, I don't even know who did that. There is a watermark here on the, on the top, and there is a piece here on the bottom that likes to pop out because I set it up on the cash register and it like popped out and I didn't even know it. You can kind of see the seam right here. So this bottom board, I'm not even gonna try and get it out. I must have gotten it in there a little bit tighter than they had had it, can come loose. So probably in shipping, it's going to come loose. But it does have the little uh, drawer slide in there so that you can keep everything separated if you want or keep your index cards closer to the front or you can use these to store your collection of vintage postcards, recipes, you can do baseball card collections, et cetera, et cetera. But it does have the Wabash writing on the bottom. If you watched the shop with me video, you might have seen this in the background because when I was recording, I really didn't see it. And then for whatever reason, it caught my eye after I turned off the video. And I honestly, it was, thinking about getting it and using it as a planter. And then I looked it up and that probably wouldn't be a good idea. I don't think this is old. It's a Gen Air, a Trezzy stand mixer mixing bowl. So it's clear glass 
with the etched in it as well. I think it's gorgeous. It's got big handles. It's got a pour spout, but I love the etching. So I figured it had to go in something because it has the little notches, you know, like a, like a blender or a mixing stand or whatever. So I knew it was gonna notch into something, but I just love it. I think this would be fun. Honestly, another idea is to just use it as an ice bucket or set it on like your bar. I just think that it, I don't know, it gives me that vibe for whatever reason. So I picked this up and this is $60. Well, thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember that you can just comment to purchase. You can shoot me a message on Facebook, Instagram, email, whatever tricks your trigger if you want to purchase something from today's video. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week.